you're not doomed yet, but and in all of world history, there has never been a civilization that has so opened its doors to another civilization that is openly hostile to it. So this is unprecedented, what's happening. Your ancestors of Europe, and I describe it in my books because I write about history, fought tooth and nail to prevent Islam from entering and conquering mm. Europe. Because that was one of the grand plans that went on for century after century from the East. The Turks were trying to enter the Constantinople. They surrounded Vienna in 1683. And before that, the Muslims, I told you, went up in, into Tours in France. In 732, a thousand years later, this was an actual goal. And now, Western Europe is saying, oh, none of that matters, it's all, it was a misunderstanding, come on in. But they haven't changed. That mentality, and when I say they, you know, that's obviously, I'm simplifying. The mentality that I've described is part of Islam. It's an Islamic concept. So the Islamic State, you're told, oh yeah, they have nothing to do with Islam, They're, they've twisted it. No, they haven't. They are a representation of what Islam, the caliphs, the sultanates, the emirates, that's how they operated. The heads of Islam, the grand imams and the muftis said the same exact thing. Okay, so it's, it, that is what it is. Again, it's not my point to arguing, oh, well, this particular migrant wants to conquer you. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's looking for a good life. I understand that, and that's what makes it complicated. But um, to, to just open your borders completely to that demographic, which has within it, not all of it, but within it, that kernel of animosity for Christians and so-called infidels and the imperative to conquer the world in the name of jihad for Allah, which they're the good guys, keep in mind. They never see themselves as the bad guys. This is one of the issues with all conflicts. They're not bad guys. They're good guys in their mind. You're the bad guys because you're infidels and they're trying to bring the light of Islam to you. So that's another uh, aspect of how moral or the morality that they feel. They're the good guys, okay, in doing this. Uh, because look at you, Denmark and Europe, you're all, you're all dissipated drunks and, you know, profligates and, uh, you know, there's no, um, no real... Yeah, th I'm, I'm sharing with you their arguments because I read it and I hear it. So they're bringing to you goodness, okay? Um, but, for, but before, your ancestors, because I guess they had their own social order and their own goodness, and it was called Christianity, were able to fight it. But I guess in this current void of sort of this atheistic climate, oh, well, anything goes, and who's to say they're wrong? Maybe they're right, etc., etc. And now you have what's happening. Um, so it's a very unprecedented experience. A lot of people talk about the Roman Empire, this sort of thing happened, but it didn't, and we can get into that. It was actually, they, they were still cognizant of trying to maintain their own social, cultural mores, Rome. And it fell to the Goths and the Germanic peoples. And I'm, I'm just saying some people use this analogy. But in this case, this is completely your doing. Not you, but it's Europe's doing. Yeah. Okay, you're bringing a hostile force that's openly hostile. And lo and behold, when I look where Muslims are, I, I see chaos and violence and criminality and rape and grooming in England. Okay, that's that's what always happened under Islam. Okay, so is there a hope? I think so. Um, I hope so in time. But it's it's so bad that this even that it even had to get to this point. You know, it's such an abnegation and betrayal of your own heritage of these men and. Women who fought and died to preserve your way of life against an open, hostile force. And now they're being welcomed in and, you know, oh, what, you know, why not? It's like they actually did. So I guess, uh, so it's a matter of time. So where's the hope? Uh, excuse me. So, so where's the hope you say? There, there is the hope, hope is to wake up. <laughs> wake up and see what reality and what I'm talking about and understand the history and the doctrine of Islam and what Islam is all about. Islam is unequivocally hostile. 